everyone welcome back with me Krishna again in this channel the channel that always gives you the information about places in Bali with the update situation how are you today I hope you're doing good stay safe and healthy wherever you are okay today or this evening I'm in Ubud area and I would like to drive you along this street this is Jalan Raya Pangosekan in Ubud and later I'll continue to Jalan Monkey Forest and also Jalan Raya Ubud by the Ubud Center guys since this evening is a weekend so let's see how is the situation in Ubud don't go anywhere and let's watch until the end of this video okay so this is the situation here at Jalan Raya Pangosekan in Ubud as you can see the street situation is normal I mean not really busy only few scooters and cars passing by and here right side that is a nice cafe they are open of course i think since now it's around eight o'clock in the evening so most of the businesses are open like here on the right side guys the spa still open money changer and also the batubara cafe or restaurant they are open of course for dinner i think that cafe is quite good and here is the Kana Hotel and next to Kana Hotel here is the Pilar restaurant I think the name of course they are open by this time but as you can see from here not really busy only few people there and here nothing much is happening it was Italian restaurant before but as you can see they are under renovation and next to it here is the Greek restaurant I think Greek grill something like that and as you can see guys they are quite busy which is good to see that in this area there are few new cafes i think like here on the right side as you can see guys they have like small cafes with the music it was kind of like a shop before and they changed it into kind of like uh, those cafes so you have more options actually if you come to Ubud especially at night where to go for your dinner or after dinner and here on the left side is the seed eatery cafe it's quite famous as well anyway they are building their uh, new place which is close by from here but not done yet We'll update you again when it's done because I will come to Ubud like regularly maybe like once in a week or once in two weeks and here right side is the Mamma Mia restaurant this Italian restaurant that famous also in Ubud so have you been to that Mamma Mia I think if you like Italian food maybe you can come there Here on the left side I think this is kind of like a new restaurant but I don't know how to pronounce it actually is, is it a soup or something so if you stay around here maybe you can come to that restaurant and try and you can share your uh, experience in our comment section And in this area nothing much is happening only a few tourists roaming around in this area but most of the business around here at Jalan Raya Pangosekan are open guys and here on the left side the spa is open so if you need any massage in this area maybe you can try to come there and here it was Pundi Pundi restaurant before but after that it's still remaining closed but next to it here there is a nice cafe open and also I think here is a new cafe it's almost busy it's auto cafe I think the name and look at this guys there are so many people here and normally they have live music but tonight I don't really see live music maybe later okay so we are entering Chalan Monkey Forest and as you can see in front of us guys quite busy in this restaurant A 
and here this is part of the auto cafe as well and as you can see from here there are so many people there Okay, so what you can find here at Jalan Monkey Forest, I think it's almost the same. A lot of restaurants, cafes, shops, spas, and also at that time you can visit the Monkey Forest. But of course by this time the Monkey Forest is closed. I think the monkey, they're all uh, sleeping by this time. And here on the left side is the Anumana Hotel and they have their restaurant as well. Here on the left side is the tropical restaurant. There are some people there. And here is the monkey forest, guys. So if you like to visit monkey forest, you can go to their main lobby. And the ticket's price in rupiah is about 80,000 rupiah per person. But if you come during weekend, like Saturday and Sunday, the ticket price will be 100,000 rupiah, guys. I hope they will not increase it again, because some of our tours, including entrance tickets so we need to spend more money during the tour okay so let's continue here on the left side is Ganesha cafe or restaurant it is on the second floor they are serving mostly Indian food guys and also here on the right side New Delhi Indian restaurant. Not a bit busy, but for those of you that are looking for Indian food, I, th I think you can come to those two restaurants, especially if you stay around here. And also later you can find Indian food around the Ubud Center, guys, because they have Bollywood Indian cuisine, but unfortunately the other one still remaining closed, which is the Queens of India. Here on the left side is the Pundi Pundi Hotel and there is a restaurant here but I'm not really sure if it belong to Pundi Pundi Hotel and it looks not really busy at the moment and here look at this guys the street situations unfortunately I don't know what happened before COVID-19 there was no lot of cars parking in this area it caused really bad traffic actually sometime but now after COVID-19 a lot of people park their cars here again guys i hope the government will have solution for this because during daytime it caused so much traffic and it is not good for everyone for tourists and also for us and here there is a nice cafe with the music and next to it here is the dian restaurant i think by this time people still having dinner so maybe after dinner people will go to kind of the cafe or bars to have some drink On the left side is Starbucks and here on the right side is Love Buddha Bar I think. As you can see guys there are so many people there.
Okay, so let's continue here on the right side is the Bumi Bali restaurant. Last time I saw them, they are open for breakfast. So if you stay around here and you need breakfast, maybe you can come to that restaurant. Of course, they serve for lunch and dinner as well. Anyway, we are getting closer to the Ubud Center. As you can see here, guys, on the right side, there's a nice restaurant and quite a lot of uh, tourists roaming around in this area, which is good to see that. And in this area, I think almost all the businesses are open, guys. Shops, cafes, restaurants. So if you like to do some shopping by this time, you still can walk around in this area. Like here on the left side, I think this is a new shop. Bali made in Bali. Their design looks nice. And of course you have so many options for the shops in this area. And here we got some traffic guys, I hope it's not really bad so that I can keep driving and update you the situation. And here in front of us is the Tropical Restaurant and next to it here... I'm not really sure the name of the restaurant but it's still quiet. And we are getting closer to Ubud Center guys. And here on the right side is the Ubud Market. I think most of you know already that Ubud Market is under renovation. So I'm not really sure how long it will be. Maybe it's still quite a long time. And here in front of us is the Ubud Palace. But for those of you that love to do a shopping around here, you don't need to worry because even though Ubud Market is closed, a lot of people sell their products around the Ubud Market. Like here on the left side, there are a lot of shops still open. And here as well guys, in this place, this place started to open not long ago. So hope they can survive and keep opening their uh, business. But here next to it, unfortunately, this place still remaining closed. Anyway, they have been closed very long time during this COVID-19, so, but until now, they're still closed. Let's hope the best for them. And right side is the Simply Special restaurant. It's kind of like a busy restaurant. I think they are doing good. Here as well on the right side is the Nomad restaurant and as you can see guys there are so many people enjoying their dinner there. Okay everyone, that's all for today's short video from the Ubud area at night. I hope this video is useful for you. Don't forget to support me by subscribing to this channel. See you again in the next video. Thank you very much and bye now.